Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I know it's been a while since I've put up a video, but that's because I've kind of been enjoying my Christmas slash winter break. I also wanted to mention that I use the new Morphe Brushes 25B palette. I'm not going to open it, but I also got the Bronze Mocha palette, and I'm going to be giving this one away along with ColourPop lippies, um, eyelashes, and you know a few other things once I hit a thousand on Instagram. So if you're subscribed and you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram and get me to a thousand. I know a thousand doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but for me personally it is. I don't know that many people, I don't associate with a lot of people. I had a lot of fun doing this and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and a big synthetic brush and put that all over my eyelid to primer for eyeshadow. Makeup rubs off of my nose really easily. I've seen a trick where you prime your nose with, with the paint pot to, so that your foundation doesn't rub off, so don't judge me, but I'm gonna try to do that today. Hopefully this doesn't give me a cakey nose. We'll see how it goes. Next, I'm gonna set my eyes with a cream colored shadow. I'm so excited to try this out today. Believe it or not, this is the first Morphe palette that I ever bought. It's the 25A. I think it's the Copper Spice one. I'm gonna go in with that very first peachy transition shade on a fluffy blending brush and put that into my cream. Next, with a more precise blending brush, I'm gonna take the fourth peachy shade. Wow, this is really pretty. I'm gonna start deepening up my crease with that throw up -y shade. Just lightly take that throw up color on a fluffy brush, very lightly blend it into your eyebrow. This like burnt sienna color. And I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush. It's the Morphe R41. Again, place that in the outer corner of my eye. To deepen up the crease just, just a little bit more. I'm gonna take the black with an even smaller pencil brush. And just add very, very, very little of that. On my lid, I'm gonna take this intense gold that's in the palette, and I'm gonna wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm just gonna do a thin line on my lash line to help blend my false eyelashes in. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and be right back. Now that I've done the other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my face. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 210. I'm gonna take that on my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 and put that underneath my eyes. I'm also going to use it to spot conceal. I've been, like I said, my skin's been flaring up a little bit and so I have a lot of redness everywhere. I'm going to blend in these areas first. For my under eye, I'm gonna take this little Real Technique sponge. I think it's supposed to be like the micro beauty blenders, but this is specifically supposed to be used under your eye. Using this is a lot easier to get like right here in this area, uh, opposed to using the full size beauty blender. And it's very gentle, oh, like any other sponge would be really. To set that, I'm gonna take my RCMA No Color Powder, that same sponge, and just stamp it right underneath my eye. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my Morphe E1 and my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade W3 
and stamp it all around my face. I like to do this to get um, some extra coverage. And now that my face is like pancake, I'm gonna get my Morphe M527 and my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and add that onto my face. I'm really excited for this. For a highlight, I'm gonna take my Tarte Exposed Highlighter that I just got thanks to my cousin that gave me an Ulta gift card. So I was like, I had a really hard time choosing what I was gonna get, but I got this highlighter. So I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M501 and just add it. For my blush, I'm gonna take this Estee Lauder Limited Edition All Over Shimmer. It says all over shimmer, but it looks like a blush to me. What I'm gonna do next is a trend that I've been seeing a lot, and it's where they have like the glitter kind of dripping down from your lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this really pretty rose gold glitter, and it's from Mika Beauty. So I'm gonna take that glitter with some Mixing Medium from MAC. And I'm gonna take it on this thin paintbrush. I'm gonna draw like, you know how you used to draw tornadoes with your pencil? I used to do that in school. For my lashes, I'm gonna take Queen Bees by Coco Lashes. For my lips, I'm gonna have two different options. I'm gonna do this Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Sand, and I'm gonna line my lips, since that color is really light, which I don't mind, really nude lips, but I'm gonna uh, line it with this dark brown eyebrow pencil. Here's the first lip option, which again, if super, super, super nude concealer lips aren't your thing, that's okay. The second option of what you could do is get a dark brown lipstick. And I'm just gonna take this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Covet, and I'm just gonna put it right on top. I freaking love the brown. The brown looks so nice, honestly. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I really hope you, I, ugh, I say really so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 